In today's video, we're going to be playing the career of Sadio Mane until he retires. And of course then, as you guys know, Sadio Mane made the move to Bayern only a couple of days ago, in fact. And a tweet that went out on Twitter from the Bayern account, yeah, it's a, it's a little bit dodgy, that one. I'm not going to lie then, guys. I'm a little bit surprised why Bayern have gone ahead and signed him. Like, I know he's a world-class player, like he really is. You cannot deny that. But they've got Sane and Kingsley Coman already at the club. And now they've signed Mane. And just go ahead then and show you guys as well. I've also gone ahead and updated most of the transfers right now. Nunes at Liverpool, of course. Pogba at Juventus. Not fully confirmed, but more or less right now as I'm recording. Henderson as well. And all the other transfers that have already happened. Now, it does mean then, in this Bayern side, not only have we got Sadio Mane, we've also got Gravenberg and Masraoui. Because I was looking at that right-back position thinking, you know what? Could do with improving that position, but Masraoui coming in, we've already sorted that. And Sadio Mane then, in-game right now, is 29 years old. So I reckon this video, we could maybe go six to eight seasons long and join some elite clubs along the way. Right now, we're at Bayern. We're going to see how he gets on alongside these other great players. So if you guys look forward to it, don't forget to drop me a like down below, hit the subscribe button, and let's get into this. And I think then one rule we are going to go ahead and have in this video, we're going to be able to sign players for the team we are at. Obviously, help Mane score as many goals as possible, and maybe just win a Ballon d'Or along the way. But right now, let's get a development plan on Mane and see which stats we want to try and keep. Because I doubt we can improve. Yeah, we can't improve any stats. So I think inverted winger, if anything, is, is the best way to go. Keeps his sprint speed, keeps his finishing. That's what we want. And I think as well, then, guys, I'm going to go ahead and change the formation here at Bayern. Because the 4 2 3 1, I mean, left mid, Mane will be sitting far too deep and not scoring as many goals. So let's go 4 3 3 attack. And that way, playing left wing, he's closer to goal. And yeah, it's perfect. Now, we are going to allow ourselves then one signing per season, no matter what team we are at. So looking at this Bayern side, where do we look to improve it? I mean, seriously, we've got Gravenberch coming in as well. Um, I mean, he's 78 rated. He's not going to go straight into the first team. So maybe a centre-back would help Bayern maybe in the Champions League. That's all I can think. In terms of attacking threat, I mean, what, what more help can he get? I mean, Davies behind him. That's amazing. Kimmich, Muller, Goretzka in midfield. Lewandowski up front with him. I mean, maybe a centre-back can only improve this team. And so my next option is going to be for centre-back-wise, Matthias Delict. I mean, bringing this guy in, he's only going to go ahead and improve. Maybe get 90 rated whilst we're at Bayern. Release clause 122. We could definitely afford that. And you know what? Let's, let's, let's buy him. And so I did just go ahead then and pay his release clause. Let's get into the contract right now and just get this guy in to the team. 85 rated will be our best centre-back straight away. Plus only 21. So crucial first-team player. Right-footed centre-back. Hope we've got a left-footed centre-back in the team. Uh, Five-year deal, perfect with us. I mean, if this guy can come in and maybe reach 87, 88 by the end of the season, will only help us in the long run. Uh, contract in terms of wages, 58k taking a pay cut, but he wants a bonus on the clean sheets. You know what? Let's accept. Yeah, and there we go then. Hernandez is left-footed. I just weren't too sure we did have a left-footed centre-back, but there we go. Delic coming in. Uff Actually, you know what? Uff McConnell can stay on the bench. Nicholas Sewell, Coleman could do with him on the bench as well. Let's take off. Mm, I don't want to take off this guy. In case he does grow to become something special. Let's take off the striker and just hope that maybe at some point, if they need to rotate striker, Marnie at striker, I'd love to see that happen. We could maybe try and convert him. Could we convert him to a striker, you know? This could be a good idea. It does say already then that Marnie can play centre forward. I mean, if we can convert him to a striker, sell Lewandowski, he was going to score so many more goals. Let's have a look. Centre forward, two weeks. Striker, 93 weeks. Centre forward, that is interesting, guys. Should we go ahead and convert him? You know what, I think for now, for the first season, we'll leave him as left winger, see what his goals and assists are, and then if they're not good enough, we'll convert him. But here we go, and we've got the first season underway right now, starting to sim some games. So I'm wondering, Mane, how well will he get on at Bayern in real life? You know what, guys? Again, I'm a little bit surprised if signed him only because they've got so many wingers already. That's the only reason I'm surprised. But in terms of his quality, yeah, every team should have been up, up for him. Do you know what I mean? He's that good. But in this, in this video, I reckon he could win a Ballon d'Or. I mean, seriously, at Bayern... In the Bundesliga, you've got to be scoring 25-plus goals on the wing. I cannot believe this. I cannot believe. At the end of the first season, Borussia Mönchengladbach beat us to the title. 11 draws this season. Okay, that has not got off to the best start. Let's, of course, then have a look at the DFB Pokal. We didn't win that either. Okay, that's not great. German Super Cup, did we? There we go. At least we win one trophy this season. Not the best. Still other trophies up for grabs. Champions League, did we win? We did. There you go. Mane wins another Champions League. Okay. That is great. Let's check the other leagues, uh, the other leagues, other competitions whilst we're here. Conference League, Spurs win it. I'm looking at some ratings this season. Mane now going up to 90 rating, which is really good to see. Lewandowski going down by two. I do think next season, let's convert Mane to a centre forward. Sell Lewandowski off, try and get him sold to Barcelona or something. And Delict is 87 now. But before we finish off the first season, let's all look at the stats. This season, top scorer. There you go. There you go, Mane. 31 goals, five assists. What did I say? 
in the Bundesliga, you're going to be scoring 25 plus goals. He scored 20, so obviously not plus 25, but nine in the Champions League, two in the DFB Pokal, so 31 in total. Okay, here we go then, into season two. As you can see, Mane, Lewandowski, not going to weigh you with their national teams. Also, Masrawi, um, nowhere to be seen. So it looks like I have to sign a right back this season. Must have only had a 12 month contract. We didn't, you know, obviously take a look at that. But Mane, I reckon this season, centre forward. I just hope that we've been 30 now that we can still go ahead and convert him. There should be no problem with that. I mean, he, he can play centre forward. That is the thing. What stats will we keep going to centre forward though? Okay, we, his sprint speed might decrease. But keep his finishing, vision, heading accuracy, which again, 84 isn't bad. We'll only take two weeks. Again, striker 23. Still won't keep his, you know, sprint speed. Um, I, I think we go striker, but centre forward is the quickest one. Now, we do go ahead then and sell Lewandowski. I'm wondering, what do, what do we do with that sale? Because I'm thinking what I might do is try and include him in a swap deal and get a right back into the team. That way, then, we don't have to use any of our money. I can use that to renew some contracts, and we need a right back. I just want to find out, then, where Masrawi has gone. So, I mean, if he is a free agent, I might just go ahead and actually pick him up. Masrawi, let's find out right now. 24... Yeah, he's a free agent. You know what? I might just pick him up, then use the Lewandowski deal somewhere else. Okay, you guys can see we are in the Super Cup this season. The UEFA Super Cup taking on Olympiacos. That's going to be interesting to see if we can win that trophy as well. But Mane, we can convert him to a centre forward. We're going to do this first, then striker. So let's convert him. Okay, he stays 90 rated. That's fine. Striker now. Will that take the same? Okay, 18 weeks. Let's do it. Now that our players then have returned from international duty, we can see where we can make improvements and... Where? where? Where do I honestly make an improvement in this side? I mean, Lewandowski, I kind of want to sell him because I don't want him getting game time over Mane. Plus, obviously, in real life, linked to a move to Barca. If I look at Barcelona's players, who could we take that could improve this team? I mean, I was thinking Ansu Fati, but we don't need another winger. Let's be honest, we do not need another winger. Let's have a quick look then at Barcelona's side. If I want to get Lewandowski there, I need to do a swap deal. And I'm just wondering, Arojo... Again, he's, he's a really good player for the future, but we don't need a centre-back into the side. Dembele, again. Got Diego Dallo now as well. Memphis Depay, Dest, and Sufati. I guess it's the only sort of logical idea, but at the same time, we've got all these players. Gabi won't be a bad idea. Pedri, maybe in the midfield. Maybe swap him in for Thomas Muller. Um, you know what? I might try and do that. So Lewandowski then is worth 102 million. Now, I can imagine Barcelona are going to want big money for Pedri right now. So let's offer maybe... 50 mil on top. Is that too much? 150 million? You know what? I'm going to go 100 and 125 million technically. Lewandowski plus 25. Let's see what Barca say to that. Wow, okay. Okay, they just want straight cash. I'm not going to do this deal because I'm only doing it to get rid of Lewandowski really. Okay, then moving on to our next player from Barcelona, Frankie de Jong. Yeah, again, 89 rated. Do we need him in the side? I mean, he'll come in handy. Let, let's not lie. Uh, player swap here, strikers. Because the funny thing is, I could do this deal right now, but then next season... Mane makes a move to a different team and it won't really matter. So let's go in with that. Plus 20 million just to get Lewandowski to Barcelona. Wow, they don't want him. They, 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 they just don't want him, guys. So let's let's end negotiation. You know what? I'm just going to go ahead right now and just release Lewandowski. He's got 12 months left anyway. Let's just release him, see where he ends up. That way, Mane will get all the game time at striker. I just want to find out right now. We're into the second season, of course, in December. I want to see, is Mane up? Mane is. Messi, Mane, Mbappe and Neymar all up for a chance of winning the Ballon d'Or. Okay, here we go then, guys. The Ballon d'Or winner has just been announced. I have not seen who it is. Let's find Mbappe, of course. Of course it's Mbappe. Why Why? Why is it always Mbappe? And much better than from Bayern this season, winning the Bundesliga title on 73 points. Three points ahead of Leverkusen. So three trophies so far for Mane since joining Bayern. DFB Pokal, did we win this? Okay, we didn't make the final. Super Cup, did we win this? We did. Okay, so four trophies so far. Champions League. Okay, we made the final. Got beat. That's not good. That is not good at all. Europa League, okay, Liverpool, Merseyside Derby in Europa League. Never seen that before. Conference League goes to Juventus. I'm looking at it, guys. Mane going up to a 91 rated. Okay, we still haven't converted him to a striker. We can still do that. But let's have a look at his stats this season before we convert him. Here we go. Top scorer. Do, does he beat 31 goals? Okay, he doesn't. 27, but still, still good numbers. 27, 10 assists. I thought he might have beaten 31, now being a striker. But before we go ahead then and wrap up season two, let's convert him to a striker now. And he stays 91. That is fine. Let's have a look at stats wise. I want to keep that sprint speed and I want to keep the finishing. They're the two main stats. So poacher seems the best one. And here we go then guys, the start of season three. Mane, 91 rated, now a striker. So this season, we are going to make a move. I don't know what teams are going to come in. 
I think either La Liga or League One would be pretty fun. Okay, so we get our first offer in for Mane, coming in from RB Leipzig. Now, I'm not afraid of making the move, but it's the same league. I kind of want to make a move to a different league. Wow, okay, then where's Aston Villa getting this money from right now? Same with Leipzig, to be honest. 100 plus million they're paying for Mane. Again, two teams. I mean, it's the, it's the leagues he's already played in. Okay, there we go. There's an offer we can definitely work with right now. Barcelona coming in, 144.7 million. Let's go ahead and accept this and get in the move. Okay, here we are then, guys, at Barcelona right now. Let's get Mane straight into the team. Of course. Okay, they've got Kyle Walker, Chirimini as well. They've got some Luis Alberto. Okay, so they made some pretty good signings here. Um, Ansu Fati still at the club, of course. Trying to fit. Actually, we can. I'm thinking Mane's a left winger. No, look at that front three. Look at that front three. We're, of course, going to go ahead and make a signing. I think, again, centre-back is the key area. Okay, no, John Stones. Arojo, that's fine. CDM, maybe. Or unless I go De Jong, CDM, and then a centre-mid here. They've got Chirimini. Do we need a do we need a signing? Because Walker goes there and Jordi Albert, may, yeah, maybe a left back. Okay, so Nuno Mendes is going to go ahead and try and bring him in right now. He's at Real Madrid, but hey, money talks, money talks right now. So let's go straight in with 70 million. I can imagine that's going to be how much they kind of want him more probably. 75. Let's go ahead and accept. So here is then how the lineup for this season. The team looking as strong as ever. Let's get into it and see how Mane does in La Liga. And once again, let's see if Mane is up for the Ballon d'Or. Okay, he's not. He's not. I'm surprised. I mean, decent numbers last season. Obviously, not the 31 goals, but Foden, Torres, Mbappe, and Neymar. Okay, so this season for Mane, no league win. Barcelona finishing in third place. Only four points behind Real Madrid and Atletico, but still third place, not good enough. Let's have a see. Did we need cup competitions? No. Okay, Copa del Rey, maybe? No. Okay, Villarreal taking on Tenerife in the final. Okay, okay, Champions League, please. Wow. Okay, where did Barcelona, where did Barcelona get to? Quarterfinals. Real Madrid knocking them out. Let's also check down Europa League and Conference League whilst we're here. Okay, PSG in the Europa League. Something you don't see. Milan winning it. Conference League. Leicester win it on pens. I just noticed then we are missing a player. Frankie de Jong right now. John Stones is unhappy. Is he not getting game time? Maybe? I don't know. There's a few players unhappy, but Marnie still 91 rated. As good as ever. Let's have a look at his stats and see how he did. So Marnie this season. Let's see. 29 goals. Okay, close to his 31 that he got in his first season. 29. 20 in the league. 8 in the Champions League. Four assists, 50 games played. So overall, a good season. Here we go, then, guys. The start of season four in this video right now. So Mane, 91 rated. Of course, we can make one signing whilst we're here at Barcelona, and that signing probably would be a CDM. However, I'm wondering, do we go out and maybe look at a different team? Because I'm thinking a move to PSG wouldn't be that bad. But of course, that does mean that PSG have to come in and make an offer. Mane now 32, so I feel like maybe next season or season after. He's going to start to decline quite heavy. So I want to get into another elite club whilst he's 91 rated. So let's have a see what offers come in. Let's renew his contract and also probably put him on a transfer list. Can you believe that then, guys? Bayern coming back in for Sadio Mane. 126 million plus a player, a left back, 77 rated. Doesn't look that bad, but we're not going to accept. Okay, here we go. Then the offers are coming in. Two offers, Leeds United and Arsenal being the two offers on the table. I mean, Arsenal wouldn't be a bad move. Back in the Premier League, a league that he knows really, really well. Leeds United offering Jack Harrison plus 116 million. The Arsenal one, I'm quite interested. But I do think then I'm going to wait, try and get an offer in from PSG. Because, I mean, if we can get in the door of PSG, then start to decline, then that's okay. I did wonder then when this transfer offer would come in. Liverpool coming back for Sadio Mane. You know what, guys? Part of me does want to accept this, but I kind of want it to be the team that he finishes at, if possible. So, right now, I kind of don't want to make the move, but it's a good offer. But I kind of want to move to another team than finish off with Liverpool. Okay, I'm not going to lie then, guys. We're coming to the end of the transfer window right now. Real Madrid are coming in. I, I feel like we should maybe make the move. Because, of course, Real Madrid, known for winning yeah, a lot of Champions Leagues. And I feel like I want to add another one to Mane's list. So, you know what? Let's go ahead and accept. And here we go. Then we have made the move to Real Madrid along with Sadio Mane. Let's get him into the team. Now, we do have Latoro Martinez, 89 rated. Mane's gone down by one overall. So, he's starting to decline already. But I feel like that should be fine. That should be fine. Let's push him up forward here. Let's get him playing as a striker. Who else have they signed in the team right now? Of course, Bernardo Silva. Okay, Nicholas Sula have signed as well. Lewandowski. Okay, after, after releasing it, made the move here. Bernardo Silva, let's get him in the team over Modric. Gundogan at CDM. Could we play Kamavinga? Yeah, let's play Kamavinga there. And you know what? I'm happy with Nicolas Sula. We could do with him in the side, but how do I get him in? And there we go then, guys. Here is how we're going to wrap up Season 4 in this right now. Real Madrid, 82 points, winning La Liga. Barcelona finishing in third place, so we made the right move there. Let's have a look at the other competitions and see how we did. Okay, so Supercopa, we didn't manage to win this. Tenerife making another final, by the way. Copa del Rey, 
Okay, not winning another trophy just yet, but champ Super Cup. Did we win this? Was we involved? Okay, we wasn't. We wasn't involved. Champions League, on the other hand, we didn't make the final. I thought being at Real Madrid, we would have made the final. Didn't make the quarters. Okay, round of 16. Milan beat us, then went on to win the whole thing, so fair play. Europa League, winners of that was Bayern. Okay, okay. Bit of a downfall from then. Conference League goes to Wolfsburg. Okay, I'm not going to lie then, guys. A little bit worried for Mane right now. 88 rated. Latoro Martinez higher rated than him. So I'm feeling he might have played more games. But of course, then there's only one way we can find out. Let's see who the top scorer was this season. Oh, okay. Mane, six goals. Six goals and three assists. 29 games played. Martinez, 39. Again, this could be Mane coming off the bench. You just don't know. Um, yeah, that's not great. It's not good. But here we go then. Season 5, guys. What do we do with Sadio Mane right now? Because I'm thinking if we stay here, I'm going to have to go ahead and sell the Torre Martinez, which I've got no problem with. But I'm also thinking, is this guy going to retire sometime soon? Because he is 33 now. Let's have a look in the squad hub. Is he contemplating retiring just yet? Okay, no. He's still playing. He's still got 12 months left in his contract. Let's renew this so he doesn't retire just yet. But there is still some hope yet. Benzema 37, only just retiring, but of course 77 rated, so a big drop off there for him. Martinez though, guys, I think we're going to have to sell him. If we're going to stay at Real Madrid, we have to sell Martinez so Mane gets all the game time. Now that Martinez is gone, let's have a look at the side, see where we look to improve it with one and only one sign in this season. Let's have a look down the team here. There's so many players. Okay, Nicolas Sule, need to get him, maybe not into the team, but at least on the bench. Okay, Danny Olmo, didn't even notice, I didn't even notice Danny Olmo was here. Okay. Just need to improve this bench. Um, we've got two left backs on the bench. That's not ideal. Strike and winger wise, we are sort of lacking. We've got Lewandowski. Let's get him to here. But you have Benzema as well, though, to be fair. 77 rated. Do we put him on the bench over Hazard? Okay, okay. I'm, I'm, this is not bad. Maybe we sign a centre back. Okay, no, we've got a centre back there. Maybe a midfielder. A midfielder for the bench. And I think. Maybe a winger. A winger, yeah. A backup winger will be okay. And so I do think then the player that we're going to go ahead and bring in right now, Christian Pulisic. Let's get him into this side, coming up as a backup. Okay, maybe not. Maybe not. 88 rated. This guy clearly is too good to be a backup for us. I'm trying to think now. Hudson Odoi, again, would be a good option on the bench. I mean, 84 rated at Leipzig. This guy off the bench would be a good option. Now, we should be able to go ahead right now and just get this deal done. We've got over 300 million in the transfer budget. Let's just go straight in here with 60 mil. Quite a lot of money to spend on a backup player. But, I mean, coming off the bench, replacing Vinicius Jr. or Rodrigo. Okay, take you to Kubo. What rating is he? How come they want him? Uh, Rosen of a player. Winger-wise. Okay, he's not going to be... He's, he's going to be on midfielder. Okay, we're not Okay, we're not going to find out. We're, gonna, we're not going to find out his overall. But I don't think he's that high of a winger. Surely not. You know what? Just going to go ahead and submit the offer. Just before I do go ahead then and accept this deal, where is Tate Fuser Cubo? Let's have a quick look. Where is he? You guys probably see it. Yeah, there he is. He's 83 rated. You know what? We don't even need to make a sign. And let's get him on the bench. Let's take, um, I want to say Benzema, but I want to say Lewandowski as well. Let's let's just go Benzema. Let's go with the strongest bench we can go with. Maybe a backup striker. Maybe that's what we go with now. And so the backup striker then, I've gone ahead and chosen for this team. Because of course, I can't have them higher rated than Mane. Calvert Lewin, 85 rated right now. My only worry is he's going to accept rotation as well, which is perfect. My only worry is that Mane could sort of drop, I wouldn't say 285, but could drop another two overalls this season, which if he does, and Calvert Lewin goes up by two, Calvert Lewin's going to get all the game time. So that is sort of the risk that we're running right now. So let's go ahead, get this contract sorted, and see how the team looks. And so here is then how the team is going to look going into the season. The only sort of downfall on the bench, Gundogan, 80 rated, but do we have anyone that's higher rated? We don't really. Yeah, we don't. We don't have a higher rated mid midfielder. But Calvert-Lewin off the bench should be a good idea. Kubo, 83. Let's see how we do. Wow, okay then. We fell off in La Liga. Fourth place finish, 69 points. Barcelona winning the competition. Not what I wanted to see. But here we go. Supercopa, we won that. Okay, so another trophy for Mane. Copa del Rey, we didn't manage to make the final of that. But here we go. Super Cup, we wasn't involved. I don't know why I'm looking. Bayern win it though. Champions League, please. Please, Real Madrid. Please, please. Oh my. Milan. We should have made the move to Milan. They've won it back to back now, two seasons in a row. Europa League, let's have a see. Okay, Marseille beating Arsenal. Conference League goes to Aston Villa. Yeah, you guys can see Mane going down by another two overalls this season, 86 rated. I think now is the time to try and get that move back to Liverpool. But before we do that, let's have a look at the top scorer this season. Mane, 26 goals. I mean, for 86 rated, going down by two in his overall, 26, still putting up really, really good numbers. Three assists. 
maybe PSG might be interested. And now here we go then, into season six, Mane, of course, still in the team, but this could be the final season if he does decide to retire. Let's, of course, then find out, is Mane retiring? And no, he's still playing. He is still playing, guys. So let's try and get him a move this window. Okay, so plenty of offers coming in right now. Leon coming in for Mane, and I did say I didn't want to play in League One. However, Leon, I'm not, I'm not too sure on that one. Okay, so two more offers coming in for Mane. Southampton did come in for him, but 73 million, guys. Not going to accept that, but Inter coming in and Real Sociedad. So, Syria, a league that Mane hasn't been to yet. And Inter Milan, a really strong side. So, I'm, I'm tempted to uh, accept that offer. And here we are then. We have arrived at Inter Milan with Sadio Mane. This other team is looking. Okay, uh, Roberto Firmino is here as well. And this team, okay, okay. We might have made a mistake here. Have we not got a goalkeeper? Why is Ottingham at goalkeeper? Okay, Martinez, let's let's sort this team out right now because it's not uh, it's not looking too good. And so I did say then the team isn't looking too good. We got Pedri. We have got Pedri in the lineup. I've also improved the team. Also moved a couple of players around. And here's how it's looking now. It's looking good. Let's get Pedri in for Chanaloglu. And this team's looking really good. Endica, Lacroix, they go Carlos as our back line. Marnie up front with Osimhem. Pedri uh, in midfield. Harvey Barnes on the left. If I had to go like this with Dumfries, because obviously right wing back, unless I convert him. The bench, though, could do with maybe improving. Let's get Firmino on the bench as well. Why not? Don't need a goalkeeper there. Who else? Uh, trying to local. Let's get him on there as well. Don't need a striker. Money in in the team as well. Um, okay, okay. You know what? I don't think this team needs many, many more signings. I mean, overall, it's looking good. So before we do go ahead then and sim this season, I just want a quick look at Mane. Is he still? Okay, 11 months. Let's delegate a renewal. A one-year extension. Let's do that and see how it goes. Let's find out right now if Mane is up for the Ballon d'Or this season. A reason why I haven't showed you guys the past ones because he just hasn't been nominated. Here we go. Mane, um, again, not nominated. Havertz, Torres, Mbappe, Foden. It's the same last season. And here we are then, guys, at the end of the season. And a pretty poor season for Inter Milan. Let's be honest. 38 games played. 65 points. 65 points. You guys seen the team that we had. Pedri was in there. I mean, Osimhem... And also Mane leading a line and finishing seventh place. But did Mane manage to go ahead and win any trophies this season? That's the main bit. Here we go. Copa Italia. Okay, no. Milan winning that. Super Cup, was we involved in that? We wasn't. Milan won it again. We should have made the move to Milan, guys. That seemed to be the play here. Champions League. City 2-1. I didn't even know we was in Europa League. We still didn't win it. PSG won it. PSG, where did Inter knocked out to Leicester? Knocked out to Leicester, guys. Conference League. That goes to, okay, Atletico Bilbao. Okay, so a disappointing season at Inter Milan. Let's have a look at Mane's numbers this season. 22 goals, still the top scorer in the club. 49 games played, 8 assists. Of course, 8 assists probably with his partner, Arsene Hem. But 22 goals, not bad. But there we go then, guys. going to wrap this one up here. Mane is going to go ahead and retire at the end of the season. And overall, I think he had a really good end to his career. I mean, added more trophies. We won like 8 trophies between Bayern and Real Madrid, I think. Picked up a couple of Champions Leagues. I think at least one, maybe two. Inter Milan, though, was, wasn't his best best part of his career, put it that way. But there we go, guys. If you enjoyed it, leave a like down below, hit the subscribe button, and I'll catch you in the next one.